everyone. Are you ready to go on an adventure with Chickpea and her friends? Don't forget to say the magic words. Clap your hands and off we go. Chickpea and friends, come and say hello. Hello, Chickpea. Hello, Treacle. Hi, Stomp and Chur. Hi, Lennon. Hi, Scoff. <laughs> hello, Jangle. You're right, Chickpea. It's a beautiful sunny day today. You're going to the beach? Oh, can we come too? <laughs> splish, splosh, splish in the rain. Then the wind will blow again. We need ice cream in the sun. Whatever the weather, let's have some fun. A sunny day, the sun is shining. It's summer, everyone is smiling. Let's go outside and play. The clouds are dark, they pass us quickly Let's get our coats and rollies out We'll splash in puddles, scream and shout Splish, splosh, splish in the rain Then the wind will blow again We'll eat ice cream in the sun Whatever the weather, let's have some fun Look everyone, the animals have arrived at the beach. Jangle and Lennon are swimming in the sea. And look, there's Stomp. He loves to play ball on the beach. But where's Scoff? He's busy building something in the sand. Can you guess what Scoff is building? Let's join the dots and find out. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a sandcastle. You're right, Scoff. Building sandcastles is fun. Chickpea's been busy building sandcastles too. Look! One of them is different from the others. Do you know which one? Look carefully. Have you guessed yet? You're right! This one! There's a starfish on this flag. But all the other sandcastles have an octopus on the flag. Well done, everybody! <laughs> yes, you're wearing a very nice bathing costume, Jangle. Do you know what else Jangle wears on the beach? Does she wear a sun hat or a crown? You're right, a sun hat. Wellies or sandals? Sandals, of course. Well done, everybody. Thanks for helping. <laughs> story time. Today's story is called Rain or Shine. Jangle was in the kitchen. She was very thirsty after playing in the park all morning and wanted a cup of cold milk. She opened the fridge door and reached for the milk bottle. But there wasn't a drop left. Oh well, she said, I'll have to go for a walk to the shop and buy some more. It was a lovely sunny day, so Jangle put on her sunglasses and summer hat. 
But as soon as she left the house, the sun disappeared behind a big black cloud. Oh no, where did that come from? Jangle wondered. Suddenly, it started to rain. Jangle hurried back into the house and swapped the hat and sunglasses for her raincoat and boots. I'm ready for any weather, she thought to herself, come rain or shine. Jangle set off for the shop for the second time that day, when suddenly the rain stopped and... An enormous gust of wind almost knocked her to the ground. Jangle started to shiver. Oh dear, I'm cold now, she said. I'd better go and get my woolly hat to keep my ears warm. So once again, Jangle stomped back to the house, took off her raincoat and boots and pulled her woolly hat over her ears. But as soon as she stepped back outside, she noticed that the weather had changed again. The wind had stopped, the sun was shining and Jangle started to feel very hot in her woolly hat. She was tired of this strange weather. Sun, rain, wind, and now sun again. What is going on? Just then, she heard a familiar voice. Jungle, why are you wearing a woolly winter hat? It was Chickpea. She was on her way back from town with the others. It's summer. Where's your sun hat? asked Scoff. Huh, replied Jungle, fed up. It's been spring, summer, autumn and winter today. I've had enough of this silly weather. All I wanted to do was go for a walk to the shop to get some milk, said Stomp. Yes, how do you know? Scoff used up all the milk on his porridge this morning, so we've been to the shop to get some more. Jangle smiled and thanked her friends. She forgot all about the weather until... She felt a drop of rain once again on her nose. Quick, shouted Chirp. Everyone inside, it's starting to rain. All the animals looked at each other and laughed before running towards the house. It's almost time for the animals to go home. But first, they want to send their friends a postcard. Can you guess what the picture on the postcard is? Mmm, you're right. It's a picture of an ice cream. Oh, Chickpea and her friends love ice cream. <laughs> See you for more fun with Chickpea and friends next time. Splish, splosh, splish in the rain. Then the wind will blow again. We need ice cream in the sun. Whatever the weather, let's have some fun. A sunny The clouds are dark, they pass us quickly Let's get our coats and rollies out We'll splash in puddles, scream and shout Splish, splosh, splish in the rain Then the wind will blow again We need ice cream in the sun Whatever the weather, let's have Everyone, are you ready to go on an adventure with Chickpea and her friends? Don't forget to say the magic words. Clap your hands and off we go. Chickpea and friends, come and say hello. Hello, Chickpea. Hello, Trickle. Hi, Stomp and Chirp. Hi, Lennon. Hi, Scott.
off? <laughs> Hello, Jangle. You're going to band practice today. Oh, can we come too? Piano, piano, play the piano, piano, piano. Fast, fast music, slow music. Fast, fast music, slow music. Come and play the keys, come and play the keys, come and play the keys on the piano. Oh, it's fun to play all sorts of instruments. Oh, it's fun to make some music on big and small ones. Oh, it's fun to play. Rump a bum, a bang it loudly, tap it softly, a bang it loudly, tap it softly. Rump a bum pum on the drum drum drum, all it's rump a bum pum on the drum drum drum. Always fun to play. Animals are in the music room today. Well done, Lennon. That's a great tune you're playing on the piano. Let's see which instruments the others are playing. Chickpeas playing the drums. Scoffs on the guitar. And Jangles on the double bass. <gasps> oh no! The music room's gone all dark and quiet. Can you remember which instrument Lennon plays? The piano, the double bass, the drums, or the guitar. That's right, the piano! Lennon and the band can play some more tunes now. Well done, everyone! Story time! Today's story is called Stomp and the Trumpet. Oh no! shouted Stomp in a bit of a panic. I'm late for rehearsal! Stomp had been practising playing his trumpet all morning. He wanted to be note perfect as Chickpea's band was going to compete in a festival. They'd been rehearsing for months for the big performance. Stomp quickly packed his trumpet in its case, collected his music sheets and rushed downstairs to the music room. All the other band members were ready and waiting with their instruments when Stomp arrived. Sorry I'm late, said Stomp. Don't worry, said Chickpea kindly. You're here now, so pick up your trumpet and your music and let's get started. Stomp didn't waste another second and was ready in a flash. All together now, said Chickpea. A one, a two, a three, four. The animals started to play. Scoff on the guitar, Lennon on the piano, Jangle on the double bass, Chickpea on the drums, Stomp on his trumpet and Chirp singing. But, oh dear, something was wrong. They sounded terrible. Stop! shouted Lennon. What's going on? Someone's playing the wrong notes. They all turned to look at one another, then shrugged their shoulders and said, Not me! Let's try again, said Chickpea. I'm sure we'll be fine this time. A one, a two, a three, a four. But you know what? They still sounded terrible. We can't compete in the festival sounding like this, cried Scoff. What's happened to us? We sounded great yesterday. Then Stomp noticed something. Um, I think I know what the problem is, he said, feeling slightly embarrassed. I was in such a rush when I arrived that I've been playing with my music sheets upside down. Please don't be cross with me. 
Everyone was quiet for a few seconds. And then a roar of laughter echoed around the room. <laughs> Stop, cried Chickpea. You are funny. The friends laughed and laughed until their sides ached. That day, Chickpea and her band had their best band practice ever. And you know what? They even went on to win first prize at the festival. Do you know which instrument is hiding in the picture? Let's join the dots to find out. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Have you guessed? It's a trumpet! Stomp's favourite instrument. Did you guess correctly? Great! Look! Scoff and Chickpea are dancing to the music. When the music's quiet, they make themselves small, like this. But when the music is loud, they make themselves big, like this. <laughs> that looks like fun, doesn't it? <laughs> Chickpea and Scoff want us to join them. Come on. Remember, when the music is quiet, you make yourself small, like this. But when the music is loud, you make yourself big, like this. <laughs> Here we go. Listen, the music is getting quiet. Make yourself small. That's it. <laughs> oh, look, they've gone big again. everyone and thank you for dancing with us we've had fun in band practice today see you for more fun with chickpea and friends next time oh it's fun to play all sorts of instruments oh it's fun to make some music on big and small ones oh it's fun to play Play guitar, play guitar. Play the guitar, play the guitar, play the guitar. Strum some happy notes, strum sad notes. Strum some happy notes, strum sad notes. Come and sing with me, come and sing with me. Come and sing and play the guitar with me. Always fun to play all sorts of instruments. Oh, it's fun to make some music on big and small ones. Oh, it's fun to play. Trumpet, 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 play the trumpet, trumpet, trumpet. Blow long notes, blow some short notes. Blow long notes, blow some short notes. How I love to play, how I love to play, to play my silver trumpet. Oh, it's fun to play all sorts of instruments. Oh, it's fun to make some music on big and small ones. Oh, it's fun to play. Everyone, are you ready to go on an adventure with Chickpea and her friends? Don't forget to say the magic words. Clap your hands and off we go. Chickpea and friends, come and say hello. Hello, Chickpea. Hello, Treacle. Hi, Stomp and Chirp. Hi, Lennon. Hi, Scoff. <laughs> hello, Jangle. You're right. It's very windy today, Chickpea. Yes. Let's wrap up warmly and go outside and play. <laughs> Spring, summer, autumn and winter, these are all the seasons. Spring, summer, autumn and winter, these are all the seasons. Watch down. Daffodils sprout in spring, all the flowers are blooming. Watch the lambs all cute and white. Brand 
playing with the others. <laughs> ah, it's too windy for you. Your hairy mane would blow all over the place. Poor Lennon. <laughs> Listen, that's Jangle. Let's go outside and discover what she's doing. Are you all ready to join the dots and find out? Here we go. One. Two, three, four. Have you guessed what Jangle's doing? You're right. She's flying a kite. Hi, Jangle. <laughs> yes, it's very windy today. Perfect weather to fly a kite. <gasps> and look at all the leaves blowing in the wind. Listen, everybody. That's Scoff. He must need our help. Let's go. I think Scoff needs us to help him dress for the cold weather. Should Scoff wear a warm coat or a T-shirt? You're right. A warm coat. Sunglasses or some warm gloves? Yes, of course. Warm gloves. A nice warm woolly hat or a sun hat. You're right again. A warm woolly hat. Thanks, everybody. There you go, Scoff. You're wrapped up warm now and ready to play outside. <coughs> story time. Today's story is called Lennon's Clothes. It was a very cold morning and Chickpea's world was covered in a blanket of snow. Lennon was so excited, he couldn't wait to go outside and play, but he couldn't find his woolly blue hat, scarf or gloves to keep him warm. I'll go and ask the others if they've seen them, said Lennon. So off he went to the kitchen where Scoff was enjoying a warm drink. Scoff, have you seen my woolly blue hat? Yes. Here it is, said Scoff, pointing at the teapot. It's been very handy for keeping the water warm. How strange, Lennon thought. A hat on a teapot. But he thanked Scoff, took his hat and off he went. Next, Lennon found Chickpea relaxing on the sofa in the living room. Hi, Lennon, she said. Hey, Chickpea, have you seen my woolly blue gloves anywhere? Oh, do you mean these? asked Chickpea looking down at her feet, wriggling her toes. Lennon couldn't believe his eyes. Why are my lovely gloves on your smelly feet, he said. I haven't got smelly feet, replied Chickpea. My feet were cold and the gloves are keeping them warm. Well, that's the silliest thing I've heard all day, said Lennon. So Lennon had found his hat and gloves. But where could his scarf be? Suddenly, he heard a loud noise coming from upstairs. Achoo! The noise was coming from Stomp's bedroom. 
Lennon climbed the stairs. Oh, Lennon, I feel terrible, said Stomp. I can't stop sneezing. Poor Stomp, thought Lennon. And then he noticed that there was something strange wrapped around Stomp's trunk. Stomp, he asked, why have you got a blue trunk? Well, I found this very nice scarf, so I wrapped it around my trunk to keep it warm, he said. I must say it's doing a great job. Lennon was just about to say that it was his scarf when he thought perhaps Stomp needed the scarf more than him. I'm glad the scarf is helping, Stomp, he said. I'll go and make you a nice cup of lemon and honey. The water in the teapot is lovely and warm. On his way back downstairs, Lennon chuckled to himself whilst thinking about how useful his winter clothes had been to all his friends. <laughs> the weather today is perfect for drying clothes on the washing line, warm and breezy. Jangle's busy hanging socks on the line. There's a small sock. And a big sock. But which one is the smallest? This one? This one? Or this one? Yes, you're right! The pink sock is the smallest. Well done, everyone! We've had fun today. See you for more adventures with Chickpea and her friends next time. Spring, summer, autumn and winter.